What happens when science fiction becomes science fact? I recently went to Dragon Con, the huge convention that caters to fans of fantasy, video games, comic books, horror, and science fiction. One of my favorite things to do is to look at all the amazing costumes where people have brought those science fiction gear and gadgets into real life, which made me think, I should do an episode about real cases of sci-fi becoming sci-fact. Number five, the Star Trek Tricorder. In the Star Trek universe, the Tricorder is a sensor array that can do pretty much anything, but its most important function is helping Dr. McCoy diagnose crew members. Now, in reality, the Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize promises a $10 million reward for the team that can build a working Tricorder. The competition's been whittled down to 10 teams, including Scanadu, which recently held a wildly successful crowdfunding project for its product, the Scanadu Scout. Kind of a Tricorder Junior. Number four, exoskeletons. In the comics, Tony Stark has to make the Iron Man suit out of necessity. In reality, there are a lot of companies making exoskeletons for various reasons, like Exobionics, which is building exoskeletons for paralysis patients. The exoskeleton supports the patient's weight, and they control it by using buttons and crutches or a walker, or even by thrusting their weight forward, causing the exoskeleton to walk. Number three. You know what? No series in the history of mankind has given us more crazy gadgets and vehicles than James Bond. In Tomorrow Never Dies, the villain has a sea drill, which is essentially a torpedo with a drill bit in the front of it that he uses to sink ships. Now, the Nautilus Mining Company's deep sea bed cutter would give 007 nightmares, but it's not meant to interrogate super spies. It's a deep sea mining apparatus meant to get gold and copper from deep under the ocean. Number two. You can't have any discussion about science fiction and science reality without bringing up Minority Report. When you watch John Anderton swipe stuff off the screen or resize images by moving his hands apart or together, you can't help but feel the movie really predicted how user interfaces would look in the near future. And if you want to turn your own PC into a Minority Report user interface, you can use a gadget like the Leap Motion Controller, which just plugs right into your USB port. Number one. Skynet. Okay, so this one's creepy. In the Terminator series, Skynet is a computer network that gains self-awareness and decides that we people are pesky critters that need to be terminated. In reality, we are years, if not decades, away from any machine that could be self-aware, but we already are seeing machines capable of teaching other machines. At Cornell University, a group of researchers have created the RoboBrain. What's the purpose of this RoboBrain? It's to teach robots basic things like how to complete tasks or what an object is and how it interacts with its environment. So a future robot designer can really concentrate on the form factor of their robot and not worry so much about the AI backend. What I love about this is there's a cyclical relationship between science fiction and reality. Science fiction authors come up with amazing stories that inspire engineers and scientists to bring that into reality. Then new science fiction authors look at the current amazing work and build even more phenomenal stories in the future, and we all stand to benefit. I have a question for all of you this week. Which idea in science fiction do you think is the next one to enter reality? I want to hear your thoughts and your explanations in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel and then reward yourself. Check out one of these videos over here.